Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Rob Craw before the 2015 Lake Sonoma 50 Mile. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing good. You're back for another uh, another go at this. You were uh, second here last year. Uh, did that get you fired up to, to come back to a race that you were uh, close to winning but didn't quite do it? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, this race wasn't really on my, my plans uh, for quite some time. I think it just fit in the schedule really well. And certainly coming back to try and uh, take another stab at having a, a good race is, uh, is appealing to me for sure. Yeah. Uh, what are you? Is this a plan to get toward Western States or? Uh... Yeah, you know. I would definitely want to mix things up a little more this year. I think I'm going to race more than I have in previous years. Mm -hmm. um, I still tend to, you know, when I race, I want to race well. So I would call this an A race for sure. So one step of uh, on the way to Western for sure. Okay. Um, going back to last year, you had some, you know, you won Western State, Leadville, Run Rabbit Run. You're just like cranking out there. And then West, uh, the North Face 50 miler happened. What happened to... Yeah, because you, you don't. You haven't had a lot of races where you've kind of blown up like that. What happened? Yeah, for sure. I I think it really comes down to it was a long season. Yeah, um, I was definitely lacking a certain amount of motivation in the fall to train, uh, and that's always difficult to put in the the miles and the efforts needed to race well. And I was fighting through a bit of an injury as well. So you know, retrospect is always so uh, crystal clear, and <laughs> uh, I really wish I hadn't raced it, but it was on my my list of races early in the year and I wanted to stick to it um, uh, so yeah it was a tough race but I learned a lot and uh, I feel good uh, entering into the, the new season so now. just late in the season you know no major problems no you came out of it fine you yeah. took time off a little time off after Western States early in the year did you take uh, some downtime after North Face oh uh, I took a lot of time yeah I literally did not put my shoes on for eight weeks after that kind of went straight into the ski mountaineering season um, pretty much within a couple days, I was mm -hmm. on the mountain and kind of just wrapped up the ski season a couple weeks ago at the Grand Traverse uh, up in Colorado, which was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, a lot of lot of skiing and slowly transitioned back into into the running over the past uh, four or five weeks. Yeah, on the skiing side, uh, you went give it a much more of a go than you did last year. You, the previous winter, you did some skiing, but yeah, uh, you did have some races on your calendar this year, um, including the Elk Mountain Grand Traverse, which is kind of the big U.S. ski tour race, yep. um, and it was quite a race this year. <laughs> you partnered up with uh, Jay Marshall Thompson, who's won it, <laughs> yeah. and uh, from talking to you before the race, you were a little maybe intimidated, or how do you say, you, what were your thoughts going into the race? Yeah, well, the whole ski mode season was amazing. You know, I've, I've been doing ski, ski mountaineering the past four seasons, and I wanted to do some racing this year. Um, and I partnered up with Mike uh, Mike Foot at uh, the Power of Four, mm -hmm. um, and that kind of just kind of fell into place. At first, um, we weren't going to do it, then then we ended up doing it, and that kind of led into um, the Grand Traverse. And kind of out of nowhere, Dina Fit invited me to race with uh, Marshall Thompson, and I was kind of thought I got the wrong email or he sent it to the wrong person, um, but I kind of jumped on the opportunity, mm -hmm. and it was amazing to partner up with someone with that much experience. In that race, there's a lot of strategy as well. So mm -hmm. having a partner like that was key, um, and it was great. Totally out of my comfort zone. Um, not quite as technical as Power of Four, but yeah. still, you know, I, I went down hard a couple times. I think uh, you always got to keep your fingers crossed going into those races. But it was a lot of fun, and definitely something I think I'm going to be doing more of next year. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, on the running side, you have raced at least once so far. You ran uh, the Red Hot Moab and. Although you've been mostly skiing, you still had a great race there. You took second to Alex Nichols, but and I think the third fastest time, only slower than one of your races in Alex. So yeah, how did that feel? Was that a surprise? Uh, it's about where I thought I'd be. Okay. Um, definitely, I hadn't done a ton of running. Um, just put on the shoes about a week before that race. I was really fit. Mm -hmm. you know, ski mountaineering is amazing for that. Um, but my legs were a little stale. Didn't feel great in the race, but put in a really hard effort, and I was really happy with it. Yeah. yeah. How has your you still had a little bit of ski mill after that, but uh, how has your running gone since you've uh, picked that back up? Good. Yeah, the body feels really great. Um, definitely have prepared for this race a little more than last year. Mm -hmm. um, I think the course surprised me last year with all the the short tough hills. It's really tough to get into a, uh, a rhythm in this race. So I've done some more specific hill training for this one. Um, maybe not as many long run as, uh, runs as I would have liked to have at this point, mm -hmm. but I feel pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to expect, really. I, I want to go out there and put in really hard effort, and I think I'm capable of having a, a great race. Uh, we'll just see what happens in two days. Yeah, who do you think might be up there challenging you uh, on Saturday? Uh, I think there's a lot of guys that can have a great race out here. Um, a lot of people I'm not too familiar with. Uh, it's a crapshoot out there. Yeah, Max King obviously is in the real good fitness after his run at uh, LA Marathon and was in obviously great top shape last uh, November at World 100K. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll be up there for sure. Um, sounds like he might be a little tired coming off his marathon. Um, but it's Max King. He's, yeah. uh, he's capable of just about anything. So I will be uh, keep my eyes out for yeah. for sure. Uh, have you made the transition to uh, full-time professional runner at this point? <laughs> I know that's been in the works for a while. <laughs> uh, I suppose you can say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a step away from uh, uh, my full-time work as a pharmacist. And yeah, it's um, kind of new new era for me and we'll see where that takes me when did um, that uh, happen just a couple weeks ago and how's that gone because i know as of some point in the last year year and a half you talked about uh being a little worried about that because you've had this structure and sort of a balance between having to work all these long shifts and then you have like a hard training block how's yeah. it been like you wake up in the morning i gotta run today yeah it's no it, it, it's been good so far it, again it's relatively new but I got a lot of other projects and goals uh, for the year, so I'm definitely keeping busy so far. I think that was one of my biggest worries, uh, was uh, having enough, enough to do during the day, but it's not a problem so far, so I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Well, uh, best of luck on Saturday and uh, with fine. your whole season. Appreciate it. A bonus question. We're in California. There's some damn great wine around, uh, beer around here. Oh, beer. Beer around here. I know you have Wanderlust, but uh, is there any beer you're looking forward to drinking here in California? Um, I wouldn't say any particular one, but I'm, I'm definitely up for uh, experimenting. Let's put it that way. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go find something. <laughs> Thank you, Brian Tinder. <laughs>